This video is brought to you by MUBI, a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the globe. Get a whole month free at MUBI.com slash Lauren. I think one of the biggest gifts that we're given during our time on Earth is the ability to experience. To experience new cultures, new places, new people, new cuisine, to experience the echo of a piano playing in some distant apartment on a Sunday afternoon, to wake up and smell fresh pastries being baked downstairs, to see an old couple hold hands so tight walking down the street that it's as if they'd never known a life separate from one another. I think it's these minute details that we take for granted. Our ability to open our eyes and simply experience. Well, shit. Um, that title, the title here today is not a lie. I am leaving Paris in about two weeks. And let me actually stand up a spot. Let me just hold the camera, actually. My visa is expiring and um, it's non-renewable and I knew that going into this that I would probably be here for a year. Um, yeah, I'm going back to the States, baby. I'll probably start my New York era very soon. However, I still have two weeks here and I want to make the most of them. Coming here, the type A person that I am, I had about 375 different places that I wanted to go to in Paris. And you know, I figured I have 365 days, I go to one on average a day. Okay, right? I didn't do that, no, I did not. I, you know, see, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I find the places that I like and I go there every single day and do not stray from the norm. But now I have two weeks to do all 365 of those things. Now I'm not gonna do all of them, but I do wanna, you know, um, make the most out of these last two weeks and just like hit some new places, you know, go go off the beaten path, if you will, go off the beaten path. I'm going to vlog it. The way like I, I don't have a dryer and I don't have a drying rack because I did have a dryer, but the dryer broke. So now they just they just dry on there. They just dry in. If anybody wants to buy any of my furniture, such as my bed, how the hell am I going to get it out that door? How the hell is that large bed, frame, and mattress going to get through that door? Down six flights of stairs. I don't know. Anybody want to help me? And my landlords are like, no, you can't leave it in the apartment. Sorry. And I was like, well, what if I like leave a bottle of wine with it for you guys as a little treat for letting me leave it? And they were like, that will not do. So, all right, let's go. I don't know where I'm going to go yet. I'm just going to pick a place on my itinerary map. And I'm just going to go and chill and vibe. Read a book. Read a good book. I decided I'm going to go to an art gallery type thing called 59 Vivoli. It's an artist residency and they just have like all these artists doing their art and the public can come in and look at the art. And I'm the public and I like looking at art. That's what I like to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I've also gotten into the habit where if by 3 p.m. I have not sat down at an outdoor cafe and sipped on a Coca Zero, you might as well sedate me because I don't want to go on with the rest of my day. Notice I say Coke Zero because simply 100 times better than regular Coca-Cola. However, 100 times worse than Diet Coke because I, they don't have Diet Coke in Europe. It baffles me, um, but I do miss it. Like nothing compares to you, Diet Coke. Nothing compares to you. Cause nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. That's literally me to Diet Coke.
experiences ever like every single uh, floor had a few artists on it and each artist just like curated their own space obviously with their art but also with like the music they were listening to and just each little spot had its own vibe it was just such a varying array of visual and audio stimuli and my little brain loved it and I recommend like if you're ever in Paris Absolutely go there. And to think I waited just about a year to go. Insane. Oh my god, they're closed. They're closed. I just want to get my Paul Mescal literature. They have the Paul Mescal literature. They have the Paul BTS babies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi there. Yeah, hi. Um, I was just frantically combing my hair with my fingers as I do for whatever reason. Anxiety, maybe. It's a white hair, it's a gray hair. You know what? Oh my God. I, when I say, oh, I'm 24 and I'm nearing like my elderly years, it, it's a joke. It's like, it's a reminder that shit, time flies. I guess. And the person with the quizzical brow? That is his good friend, Mr. Darcy. <gasps> Can somebody explain to me why my dreams every single night are so violent? I, okay. I just got out of the shower, didn't wash my hair, just to wake myself up. For the past year, my dreams at night have been so utterly gory and violent and sad and shocking that I wake up in tears just about every single day. I don't know. Okay, well, I do know what I probably could do. I probably could go talk to somebody, a therapist about it. But I don't want to. It's just like the process of finding a therapist. It's like, it's like dating. Like you just, it's just so, you know. Anyways, imagine the most horrifying movie you have ever watched or seen or heard of. And triple that. Like, I don't know how my brain even conjures up this shit. Like, 
it is so fucked up up there is what it is is what it's fucked up um anyways today is saturday i'm going to go well you know i don't really know where i'm gonna go i'm just gonna kind of walk out the door and see where the day takes me where the day brings me where my feet travel along these paris roads well it's time to say goodbye to my baby she brought so much life into this into this space of mine love her more than anything and she'll probably be getting a better home because i did water her once every month and a half and her roots are her roots are bad and she just she needs a better home and you know like if you love something you have to let it go and i'm letting her go i still have so much stuff to sell if anybody wants to buy anything i am selling I'm going to buy a book at an English bookstore. I think it's called Galliani. Galli. something with a G. It's near Le Louvre. I'm trying to read a book a month for the past few months and it's going well. And frankly, like, I'm craving reading now and I haven't craved reading for years. Like, it's more like I kind of force myself to do so for a certain amount of time throughout the day. And now I just like, I sit and I read and I consume those words on the pages like they are water to a parched person living in the desert for eight years. That's how reading feels to me. And it's beautiful. I also love like having books on a bookshelf. I will very much so miss walking down the street and seeing buildings just like that in the middle of the road from God knows what century. mental ward, mental institution. It's giving, I was a little too honest to my therapist and she sent me away is what is what the vibe is here. I don't have a bed anymore, so I'm sleeping on my futon. I've been sleeping on my futon for, for the past three days. Guys, in the year that I've lived here, I have not had a better night's sleep than the past three nights. This motherfucker, hard as a rock out like a light. I slept 12 hours last night and it, it felt really nice. And I woke up feeling no less refreshed than I usually do. I never wake up refreshed, probably because I'm iron deficient anemic. Also, nobody bought that. Nobody bought my Tour de France bike. If somebody knew, like, if they knew that records were being made on that bike, yeah, people would have bought it. Because like the sweat that has dripped into that, into the pores of that bike would allow anybody who uses it to instantly become an athlete at the stature that I am. I had um, a fun dip and <laughs> it was a blue one. I just cried for 30 minutes and I figured I would um, distract myself by packing my items because I do move in seven days. I collect smiskies. Such a fine young gentleman. Look at him. Hold on, let me show you my smiski collection. I also have a few unopened that I'm saving because I have a problem. I have this weird thing, right, where I will buy something and get that initial rush, get that initial like endorphins to my brain. And then I let them sit for like a month at least. And then I like get double endorphins because then I'm still like anticipating opening the box, like what is in it. So, and yeah, I mean, shit. I'm so crazy. Here's my Smiskies. Look at them. So I listed 
all of my items like my furniture for sale and a lot of it has not sold so because i don't own paper i have a paper plate and i listed all of my items for sale or free and i said moving six floor for sale and then i list all the things and i think i'm a genius i think i'm a genius because every single time somebody goes to unlock the door oh oh she's moving six floor mover so Hopefully that does the job because I do leave tomorrow and I still got an apartment full of items. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, it is lovely being a smart, intelligent woman. Actually, my aunt gave me ID, that idea. So thank you, Aunt Dee. Even in the dark, in the darkest of days, in the brightest of evenings, the gaze always prevail and I love to see that. I really love to see you. Be who you are for your pride. Kissing and hope the cutters, whether they like or not. I wanna show you up. I wanna show you up. I wanna brag about Okay, so I just got home from donating a bunch of stuff to the local, like, Goodwill. I come in, I clean, like, the walls because I need to clean them for, for moving out, whatever. I'm literally in my underwear. I get a ring at the door. Quickly throw on whatever I have laying around. Mind you, my apartment looks like this uh, because I just did laundry and I don't have anywhere to hang anything or dry anything because there's nothing left in my apartment. I open the door, three beautiful men my age just about say, oh, you're selling. They saw the plate. They saw the plate. And they said, oh, like, what are you selling? And I literally, I quickly, I was like, oh, that's the couch. I grab everything from the couch. They're like, oh, are you selling the bike? I said, yes, I'm selling the bike. This is what the bike looks like. I have my undies hanging from the bike handles. Oh my God. And they're just like, okay, like kind of smirking. And I'm like, all right, well. And they're like, oh, can I take a picture of the table and the chairs? Sure, I guess so. I said, do you want me to take my underwear off of there for you? And they said, no, it's fine. Um, I did. I've lived here for a year and apparently he's my neighbor. So I was living next to a hot young man this entire time and I didn't even know. So what could have been, I suppose, unless maybe he wants to buy my bike. Not with the underwear. I would not sell him the underwear. Though. Do you mind? Um, after the bitch ass motherfucker head of my apartment agency literally kicked me out last minute, the lady a few stories below me. She was like, oh, I saw the sign that you're selling your couch. I'll take it. And I sold her my couch. I gave her my rug and like anything else she wanted for free. And I told her my situation. And she's like, please come stay at my house overnight. Like that is so like fucked up of them, blah, blah, blah. The guys next door moved all my stuff down for me. And they, they bought the remaining things. They bought my table and my chairs. Community is really such a beautiful thing. You really are care for one another and it's just a man that sucks it's a people with 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 people Suddenly, the world is my oyster. It's um, very bittersweet that this is the last time that I'll be able to say I'm living in Paris. You know, it's like the saying, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. It's like I, at the, like right now, I feel like I could just like look out at the Paris rooftops forever and not get tired of it. And it makes you think like, well, I wish I had more moments that I looked out at the Paris rooftops. 
even though I did. I had my fair share of looking out the window at a nice view here in Paris, but it's like, I won't see that for a while. And I'll be back, of course, visiting and whatnot. Paris was a love-hate relationship for me. The loves were from the bottom of my heart. And I'm very thankful that I got to call this city my home for just a blip in time. And thank you for, um, watching my journey living here and um i didn't share everything obviously but i did share the good sides and the bad sides yeah just weird thank you paris also fuck you but in a in a, in a friendly way au revoir paris i can touch the scene with my feet i can i can Hit up from the street with you And I know this is not our place But we can always live as if it is We can, we can Paris is a dream come true And we don't even need to explore Real quick, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, friend of the channel, Mubi. Mubi is for lovers of great cinema and for those who don't yet know they love great cinema. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Mubi is a curated streaming platform dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the globe and when I say curated, I mean curated. Mubi's staff handpicks every single film that is streaming on the platform and each film is accompanied by a little excerpt as to why the film is unique, why it may be worth your time watching, which is one of my favorite features of Mubi because it really takes the indecisiveness out of deciding. They also offer such a vast catalog. You can find something directed by Park Chan-wook, by Sofia Coppola, Claire Denis, Emma Seligman, the list goes on. I mean, I've discovered so many new directors by just browsing movie and being like, hey, who is this? This looks interesting. Let me, let me watch it. Recently, I watched Park Chan-wook's Decision to Leave and insane. The story follows a detective investigating the murder of a man and the suspect in question is the wife of the murdered man. Park Chan-wook manages to intertwine criminality with longing and love and regret. The film is sly, it's playful, it's filled with beautiful imagery, and it's built on the foundation of obsessive narrative rhythms that will really have you tied in by the end of the movie. It's so beautiful and the ending will leave you gut-wrenched. I really do recommend. It's fantastic. You can try Mubi for free for 30 days at Mubi.com slash Lauren. That is M-U-B-I dot com slash Lauren for a free month of great cinema. Thank you again to Mubi for sponsoring today's video. Go watch a good movie.